All right, guys, welcome back. We are here for my fourth book, which is Ninja Sun Revelations. Now, this is the fourth book in the um, in the series. It's already out. If you're wondering what this is right here, this is the author's copy. So I cannot. It says not for resale, so I cannot resell it. But it does have a, a barcode on the back. But you know. They ship this out to the author, so you know that way. Um, I had actually got this before it came out because remember it came out January six, um, January seventeenth. But I got it the weekend, uh, two weeks before because I had to do something. Um, I had to get two copies. So there you go. It is Ninja Sun Revelations, and in this one, I have promised you guys. Um, in the uh, story of Ninja Toys, I was going to tell y'all um, about what happened, you know, the reason why I lost contact with my friends. Um, and it was not, it was by design, but it wasn't my, it was none of our faults. I told y'all what I, um, what happened with me and Princess, but um, the I know I've told you guys several times, but I needed, I'm going to um, tell you guys what. Um, they were, you know, what actually transpired to make that happen. And when I tell you guys, you guys may not believe me because I didn't even believe it until it happened. But, it, but what, what I'm going to tell you guys, um, the way it happened, it didn't happen in real life the way I'm about to explain it. Um, when I was, it was like maybe two months, be, I think it was my like two, three months before graduation. Me and Jamie were on the phone. And it was actually a three-way call because uh, my friend Fiandria was actually on the call too. So it was us three. And we were just talking. And I ended up having this small dream. And the dream was um, all of the ninja, it was... Um, me, Jamie, Ashley, Cornelius, and Prentice, all five of us, it was this house, um, we were in the woods, it was this house, it was like this really dilapidated, I mean old house, but it was a huge house. Um, we all walk into the house. Now, all five of us go in, but I'm the only one that, um, shows up in the four year. Now, this is where the symbolism and the, um, this, what I'm about to tell you guys is, um, is hard to believe. I had to run through the house and find each and every last one of them. And there were so many rooms. But in the rooms that I found them in, each one of them, when I found all four of them, they end up um, in the um, there in the mirror. It would um, they would tell me, you know, something that it was like a to me it was like a betrayal, and they would turn their back on me and they walked away. So each one of them did that. So when I leave, uh, so when I left the house, I was if I went in, only one came out, which was me. So. I, I kind of ran this by Jamie. I was like, bro, what does this mean? You know, um, because I said, you guys in the dream betrayed me. And, you know, because there was some harsh things said. Well, I'm not going to repeat. Some of them I did forget, but <laughs> I can't repeat it because I don't, some of them I don't remember. But um, he said, I don't know. He was like, you know, sometimes dreams, you know, have a way of telling you certain things. But, you know, they may never come true. All how wrong we were. 2005. Um, my niece was about five. Uh, she was about five to six months old at this time. And she was a little demon, <laughs> to say the least. Love to death. I wanted to kill her. Okay, so... We get, to, so I get to, um, so I was, you know, this was before we had backup, you know, information. This little devil took, got my phone, 
took it and threw it in the toilet. Mind you, I lost Cornelius, Jamie, Ashley's numbers. Now, remember, I told y'all I had already uh, lost contact with Princess because I thought his mom's number had changed, so I didn't have his number uh, anyway. So, that's how I lost Jamie and Cornelius. But luckily, I had um, Ashley on uh, Facebook, so I was able to recover him and let him know what happened. Um, so Ashley and I, we, you know, um, I went 15 years without finding Jamie and Cornelius. Prentice was a lot longer because I, we, I lost contact with him right after graduation. So the dream basically told me what was going to happen, but it didn't happen like that. So none of my friends betrayed me. The thing was... There was things about myself that I learned over the years that they weren't in my life, what I needed to take care of in order to, you know, get them back. And, you know, there was a lot of self-preservation. There was a lot of things I had to look at myself within. And, you know, once I started, because each one of them that was in the mirror was something about myself that... I really did not know at that time that I was going to have to face. And when I faced it, when I faced each and every last one of them, they came back to me. And that's why I wanted to say that story for Revelations because in this book, Ninja Sun finds out a lot of revelations. He had to go back into the past during battle to figure out a lot of, you know, to find out a lot of stuff that actually, you know, to, you know, start piecing things together to make things under, you know, make things make more sense. And that was what, that's why I say my story for this one. And as usual, we're going to stand up so you guys can see the t-shirt. You guys get to see the shirt. I know it's a big glare on the book. You got both of them. So, you guys go to Ninja Sun, um... Go to uh, Kenny Lowe's appeal to get the shirts. I'm telling y'all, y'all would not be disappointed. All right, without further ado, um, I'm trying to think what um, what chapter do I want to um, because see, there's a chapter in here. I'm not gonna chapter three. You guys will not. I'm not reading chapter three, y'all. That is spoiler heavy, and I cannot give you guys uh, chapter three. Because if I give y'all chapter three, you ain't got to buy the book. And uh, uh, y'all going to have to buy the book. <laughs> oh, I actually know. Um, let me see. I think, um, I think I do, I think I know which one. Um, hold on, wait, let me see. Is this the one? Let me make sure. Uh. I'm trying to think because I know I, I do know um I think this is it. I think this is it. Um hold on. Uh I'm I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry. I'm trying to make sure um I don't give you guys um hold on, let me see. Okay, here we go. All right. Uh, yeah, I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. Okay. So this is the end of chapter one. Um, this is the end of chapter one. So um, what happened in chapter one, the Ninja Warriors, um, I'm going to tell y'all, on the screen, you guys are going to see new suits and new powers. Um, they're going to be right up here. Um, I can only show y'all, you know, a few of the ninjas for right now. What happens in this, the ninjas end up going through, they um, do a ritual called their unification, uh, their reunification ceremony, which what they will do would come together and, you know, put, you know, combine their powers to relink with each other to be able to, you know, um, 
use their powers together, you know, to make stronger attacks and also, you know, become one as a team. However, in this case, when they did the reunification, um, when they did the reunification ceremony, not only did they do that, they end up creating new powers and new suits. So from this point on, the Ninja Warriors have new suits and they're more unified. Their suits are more unified and then their powers are a lot stronger um, than they were before. So also, um, Ninja Sun goes, um, has a new phrase that he says, Excalibur, I mean, Excalibur power strata up. So that's one of my favorite. No, my favorite is the very last one, but I cannot tell y'all till we get to that point. And we got a long way to go. Okay, so let's go ahead and, um, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, back at Dion's house. He was sitting outside looking up at the stars as Paulo stood on the street uh, stood um, on the street in close proximity to Dion. Dion, you may not remember everything that happened on Trayon, but I will stay close to you until you do. Paulo declares before he was grabbed from behind. Now let me say this. If you read the beginning, you guys know what happened. I ain't gotta explain it. Dion does not remember anything from that. But there's something that's going to happen. I cannot tell you. It happens in this book. I cannot tell you. Something is going to happen. And it's going to be monumental. It's going to change. This book changes the whole landscape of uh, my story. And I am very, very proud of this book. I really am. I'm proud of all my books. But this one. It took a lot for me to write this. Dion look around, uh, looked around to see if anyone was there and then went back looking at the sky. So Dion was actually looking at the sky because, you know, they just had, you know, um, they just had this huge battle. No, actually they didn't even have a battle yet. It was just, um, they fought, you know, past enemies that they have um that they was facing um they were you know they were brought back to life you know they was animated you know um zombies but the ninjas had to face them so that was kind of like the um mini boss that they had to fight one week later everyone was on high alert for paulo anthony and the sages were using their psychic powers to find him but to no avail everyone uh looked all over japan Excuse me, but there was no sign of Apollo. The ninjas met. Uh, the ninjas met back up at the temple as they came up with no. Uh, came up with hold on, as they came up with ideas. This is not like Apollo to just go off on um, for a week and not tell us. Yuriko explained, as Yuri walk uh, walk around. Uh, hold on, walk. <laughs> as Yuri walked around, thinking about his whereabouts. This has to be Sykes doing, Dion yelled angrily. The others agreed. Dion, could you, uh, Dion, you could be right. No one has seen Paulo since the uh, since the three-way fight. Ryan speculated as Anthony confirmed the suspicion. This may be um, this may be why we can't locate him, Paulo. Uh, this is this is why. Hold on, this must be why we can't locate him. Paulo must be being held captive by them. Uh, Anthony said as the sky gets dark and Paulo is seen in shackles looking uh, looking half beaten. You gave your uncle, uh, you give your uncle way too much credit, Dion. <laughs> I took your lover boy and he's been my pet ever since I took him. Archangelus, um, Archangelus said as he appears in the sky right beside Paulo. The Ninja Warriors were prepared uh, to fight. Dion yells uh, Dion yell at him. Give him back, you, you bastard. Give him back, you bastard. <laughs> I will kill you if you harm him. Dion screams at, uh, as Paulo lifts his head weakly and uh, saw everyone. Guys, Paulo says very weakly as his head falls, uh, as his head fall, uh, fell. Archangelus lifts Paulo's head as he looks at Dion. Oh, you know, he calls out for you every time I shock him. 
and the blood coming from his back, uh, come from the uh, from his back and arms satisfied me so much. And knowing that you can't do anything about it, I mean, you can't do anything to find us. I know you can't do anything or find us. Archangelus said as he laughed evilly, as the ninjas stand by helplessly, as they can't, um, as they watch Paulo vanish. And I'm gonna stop it right there. I ain't giving y'all no more. <laughs> I ain't giving y'all no more. That was that was the end of chapter one. That's the end of chapter one. Just imagine what chapter two, three, and four are gonna be like. You guys have got to check it out. I implore you guys to go and check them out. I I spent hard. I spent so much time writing these books for you guys, not just for you, but for me, because I wanted you guys to see what my uh, capabilities are, and you know my, you know, and what how creative I can be. And that's not all. You guys got to get. All four of um, uh, all four of the books. You got to get all four. One, <laughs> two, three, and four. Five will be out August first. God's willing. Um, I'm just about done with it. I just got to get it. Um, no, I'm actually done with it. What am I talking about? I'm on uh, book six. I just got to get it edited. So. Um, it should be out August 1st. So you guys, make sure to look out for Ninja Warriors, uh, Ninja Sun Desperation. Desperation, when I tell y'all desperation is what it means, that's what it means. Because, well, I don't have to reach out a passage when it comes out. Alright guys, thank y'all for coming back. Do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Share all of this with your friends. Any of you that love anime, um... You know, share it with everybody. I'm trying to get um, my video together so you guys can see the, you know, to see the trailers and everything. I have a GoFundMe that is coming out. That is out. If you guys don't mind donating to help me get the money together to do the um, the um, video for um, the animated trailer, I will I will appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. I love you all. Y'all be safe, and I will see you guys in desperation.